Today we're planting two of our most important survival crops, corn and beans. Probably could have started them indoors a couple of weeks ago, but I've read they don't like transplanting all that much. I mean, you can do it and people uh, do it successfully. But as you can see behind me, it's raining. It's been like, past couple of days, it's been pouring rain. And today it's been on and off with the pouring rain. Woo! <laughs> Blowing right up my shirt here. It'll rain like this for a couple of minutes and then the sun will come out. So I've been finishing up things to prepare for the uh, seeds uh, in, in between these downpours. As soon as this little uh, squall passes, we'll get to planting the corn. I've been soaking the corn kernels overnight to soften them up a little bit. You don't have to soak uh, the kernels overnight, but it just helps them, uh, gives them a little bit of a head start by doing so because they need to absorb a lot of water before they can start the process of growing. So that's why you soak uh, the corn to give them that little bit of a boost. I'll be planting them in this bed here. This bed is 16 feet long. It's a brand new bed that I've uh, put in and it's about 18 inches deep, mostly with fill. And it's got a, about a foot of uh, soil mix on top. Corn doesn't have a very deep root system. So I hope this, it being a new bed and all, it'll be, uh, it'll be able to hold the corn up with the, right along the fence line here. I may be able to uh, put some, uh, tie some uh, string around the, uh, uh, stalks as they're growing so that they don't fall over. It's a golden bantam corn I'm growing, so they're not going to get very tall anyway. Only a couple of feet tall, three, four, five uh, feet tall. It's about two feet wide, which means I, I'm planting in the square foot method. And in square foot gardening, you can plant four stalks per square foot. I could have four rows going across, but because uh, I don't want to crowd them too much. I'm actually going to do it in just three uh, rows. You plant the kernels one and a half to two inches deep. So I've got my dibber here. So that's one inch there. That's two inches. So somewhere in this range is how deep I'll be planting the corn. And I can feel it starting to rain right now. So as I said, I'm going to place the template where these two holes are about in the middle. Push in the dibber down to the appropriate depth. And I'll take the marker, move it over. So this should give the corn sufficient room from the edges of the uh, uh, garden bed. So I'm just going to plant one kernel in each hole. And I'll continue down the bed doing this and be back when I'm done. It's just starting to rain hard. I got one seed in each of the holes. So it's almost 90 seeds. I've got a bunch left over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and just about every other hole, I guess, I'm gonna put in uh, another seed, double them up. And it's starting to rain hard, er. So <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, we got it planted. And as you can see, I filled it in, all the holes in with uh, vermiculite and I figure that'll help retain some moisture for the seeds until they get started. Even though it's starting to rain, I am going to water them in anyway, just so I make sure that the water penetrates down into here, because you really never know how much rain you're going to get. And it just might not be enough to water the, the seeds in so that there's good uh, ground contact. So I'm gonna go get my 
uh, water bucket and start watering them in. I decided to do it with a hose just because I don't want to take all the time it'll take to constantly fill up a water bucket. I'm sure my neighbors think I'm nuts all <laughs> watering in over here in the rain. Like I said, I want to make sure the seeds have good uh, ground contact and they have plenty of water and don't dry out. And that's why I watered it in. Five minutes later, the sun is out. So the corn is planted and let's see how it does, <laughs> how it does, how it does in this new bed. And just like that, it's raining again. Blue skies over there, but much darker skies over there. So I guess that's going to be what it's like today on and off rain, but it's a pain in the neck because I'm working on filling this bed. This is where the kidney beans are gonna be planted. Initially, this bed was all going to be my sweet potatoes, but since it doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough sweet potatoes to fill the bed, I decided that half of the bed will be for the sweet potatoes. This half will be for the kidney beans. And since I got another month yet before, uh, in a couple of weeks anyway, before the uh, sweet potatoes go in, I'm not worried about filling that side. I got this side filled, just completed. And now I'll plant the kidney beans in here. So it's a seven foot long bed, but this is about a three by three area. And bush beans in the square foot garden can be planted nine to a square foot. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And just as I, and I'll mark out all the holes and then we'll plant the uh, beans. Just like with the corn, I soaked the beans overnight. Actually, I had just put a covering of water over the beans. And this morning when I got up, they had absorbed all the water. I ended up putting more water in. So these are ready to go. And we'll go plant them in the holes right now. Beans are planted to a depth of one and a half to two inches. So I'll just take my dibber. Go in, go down two inches, thereabouts. This ground is very moist because I watered it in to try and settle it down. Although it will settle down over time. So I'll do this half of the bed and then I'll be back. So it was slightly less than three feet wide. So there's eight rows this way and eight rows that way. So just slightly short. If I had filled the bed up, I would have been able to plant over that bar. So I would have gotten the extra row in there, but that's fine. So that's 64 plants I'm going to plant. I've got a lot more beans than that uh, that I soaked. But there's a YouTube channel called Old Alabama Gardener. Uh, unfortunately, he's passed. But he had a little saying when he was planting his kidney beans. And basically, he put three or four beans in each hole. And it was <laughs> one for the worm, one for the crow, one to rot, and one to grow. So, <laughs> because you're never quite sure how many beans you're going to get, you put a couple of in in each uh, hole. Now again, I'm gonna be planting store-bought beans. These are Goya red kidney beans. Uh, they're dried beans, the little pouches, about a pound of them. I did the about half the pouch and it came out to about 300 beans. Probably not gonna need that many. Probably gonna need about 200 of them. So just gonna take the beans and start placing them one two, three, one, 
two, and we'll push them down a little bit further in. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we'll just press them down further. So they're about an inch and a half down. And I'm gonna go across and do the entire bed and we'll come back when I finish planting them. All right, I actually planted four beans in each hole and I still had more left over. <laughs> so we'll see how this grows. This should be nice and uh, dense and should crowd out any weeds, which is why planting intensively like that is a benefit to the garden. You have less weeds uh, to worry about. I'm gonna cover over the beans now and we'll be uh, waiting for them to start sprouting. We'll see if they sprout. I've seen numerous videos online where people used these store-bought beans and no problems getting them to grow. So we'll see. All right, they've been covered up. I will put a top dressing of compost on top of them and just to make sure that they are the uh, appropriate uh, depth in the ground. Now, old Alabama gardener, he gave them a drink of rabbit poop <laughs> compost, liquid compost. I don't have rabbit poop compost. <laughs> and he believed it helped, but we do have the chicken compost as uh, part of the uh, soil composition. So maybe that'll be uh, comparable. There are a few crops I'm growing this year that I consider to be my survival crops. Most of my uh, root uh, vegetables, the turnips, the beets, the rutabagas, now the corn, the beans, these are ones I want to be able to grow in sufficient quantities that I can stockpile and store. Hold on. We're raining again. <laughs> I got a screen behind me, so I don't know how much that's actually going to help. So that's why I've actually planted so much of these different uh, vegetables. I want to get a lot of uh, cropping out of them. Now the corn, you actually need to plant it in blocks because that helps with the pollination. And you can't just have like a single row of corn or something like that, or just a couple here and there because they, it's the, they're pollinated by the wind. You can hand pollinate them, and I have done that in the past. Go out to each uh, stalk and collect the, uh, the pollen and uh, sprinkle it on the uh, tassels of the corn. But when you have a lot of corn like this, that's not practical. And the beans, we just use a lot of beans in our cooking here. So I want to grow a lot of beans, be able to save beans, and also use them in cooking. And if you want to see what we were doing in the garden last week, check out this video right here. And that way you'll be able to follow along on the progress of all of our vegetables as we try to grow a supermarket in our own backyard when it's not raining. Okay, thanks for watching.